Hello, good evening, and welcome. My name is Brendan Circuses, and uh, today I'm responding to uh, a video by the Young Turks, um, which was uh, asked of me uh, by uh, YouTube user uh, Wrong as a Shit, um, who uh, wanted me to do something on the Young Turks. Uh, now, this video has already been responded to by Atheism is Unstoppable, who I highly recommend, and uh, I will provide a, a link to their video and also their channel in the description, please go and subscribe to them, they are fantastic. Um, this uh, is a video entitled Armed Bikers to Taunt a Mosque with Muhammad Drawings and Guns. Uh, it's a very um, clickbaity headline and it's, it, 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 it's, its intention is to uh, demonize people who want nothing more than to protest against uh, religiously inspired violence and uh, and censorship and to promote freedom of speech something which I value very highly uh, I believe freedom of speech and freedom of expression to be uh, our most fundamental uh, civil rights and uh, potentially even the most important right we have and that we must um, fight for its continued existence to no end. There is nothing more valuable in my mind than our ability to express ourselves as we wish. And so to attempt to have these people come across as uh, somehow uh, the villains of this story is uh, to me, quite villainous in and of itself. When you say armed bikers, you are attempting to draw um, some sort of a negative uh, connotation to people peacefully gathering. When you say to taunt a mosque, what you are saying is that they have malicious intent. Uh, when you add that they have guns, um, having already stated that they are armed, you not only make yourself a little redundant, but also uh, have it as, as, as though it's uh, an important part of what they're about and what they're doing. And this isn't the case, as you will see when we get into it. The title in and of itself is wrong and is something that should be objected to. And that's just the beginning. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Young Turks in all their glory. A Phoenix area man is planning a Draw Muhammad contest and protest on the outskirts of a mosque. That mosque being the mosque where the, uh, it's the Islamic Community Center of Phoenix, the same one where the Garland, Texas shooter attended. Uh okay, so this may require a brief bit of backstory. The, um, uh, the, the the person they're referring to, the gun, uh, Texas gun shooter, um, was a member of this mosque that they're uh, campaigning outside of. Um, and he went to a previous rally by these same people, a previous uh, freedom of expression rally, uh, with weapons, with the intention to murder uh, members of this, of this peaceful protest, um, who were innocently drawing pictures. He was thankfully um, killed, I believe, by uh, police uh, before he managed to successfully commit any of his uh, religiously motivated atrocities. Now, these, these people, having been uh, attacked unsuccessfully, thankfully, um, by a member of this mosque, have decided that they want to do uh, a protest outside the mosque to show their, their staunch defiance in the face of religious hatred in the face of religious violence um, and to show that they still stand firm um, promoting uh, freedom of expression and against censorship and against uh, religious violence. This is I think uh, an entirely positive thing. But those of you who know me may know that I, uh, I took part in the last uh, Draw Muhammad Day um, I can't remember if it was this year or, or last year, whichever one was the most recent one I, I took part in. It. 
And I think it's very important that people do this sort of thing because you, you couldn't you couldn't do that with any other religion. That you couldn't do a, a draw Jesus day or a, a draw Buddha day or whatever because such uh, religions do not care. You could draw a picture of Jesus being fucked in the ass by Satan while the Pope wanks into the Shroud of Turin while some choir boys are getting abused in the corner. And the Catholic Church would do nothing about it. Couldn't give a fuck. You won't receive any death threats, any bomb threats. You won't be murdered. You won't be blown up. That's not going to happen. Wouldn't happen with any religion other than Islam. And that's the reason that while, while I am an anti-theist and I oppose all religions, and I dislike all religions, and I think all religion is stupid and ridiculous and there's no magic or mysticism, there's no gods and so on and so forth, I oppose Islam more than the others because of its inherently violent, malicious nature. And it's, this is not the case, or this would not have been the case a uh, hundred years ago, I would have uh, opposed the Catholic Church, most of all, because of its uh, alliance with, with fascism um, and with, uh, you know, the Nazis and so on and so forth. But the biggest issue facing us today is Islam. And <laughs> so that there is this, this sort of um, idea that it, you need to stand up against Islam because otherwise you will be killed but you know that if you stand up against Islam you may be killed and it comes down to the principle of the thing do you want to stand up for your right to freedom of expression or do you want to be slowly killed via a, a, a global takeover of Islam as you continue to uh, sacrifice more and more freedoms uh, in the name of of equality or of, of stopping people from calling you Islamophobic. Do you want more and more of your freedoms, of your rights, sacrificed uh, in the name of political correctness? Or are you going to stand up and say, no, fuck you. Fuck your religion. Fuck your hatred. I'm going to be able to say whatever I want because it's important. Anyway, sorry, I started rambling. <laughs> Back to that. Uh, yeah, so he's planning that event. It's going to happen uh, tomorrow. Ritzheimer, the man, said he hopes to push out the truth about Islam. It's not that some people are out perverting this religion. It's these guys are following their book as it's written. And he told the station that he doesn't condone any threats being made to the mosque during the freedom of speech rally round two. Okay, well, um, that seems entirely reasonable, then. See, what he's saying is that the issue is not some small fringe group of uh, radicals who are misinterpreting, misunderstanding the word of their uh, prophet. It's people actually reading the Quran and uh, the... Uh, what's the, uh, the other... I can't remember the other um, holy book in... Um, Islam is called, but whatever the other one is, and they're not reading that and, and, and misunderstanding, they're reading it word for word and accepting it. In the same way that if, if you read the Bible and accept it, you end up stoning homosexuals and, um, and cutting people's hands off for touching genitalia. That kind of bollocks. The problem is these people are actually doing it. I mean, if Christians were doing this, then I would oppose them as well. He also says he doesn't condone any threats being made to the mosque. So when you say they're going to taunt them with guns and shit, what he's saying is, don't threaten them, won't tolerate that, there will be no violence, this is a peaceful protest. So, clearly you have an issue with this. I'm not sure, no, I am sure why, actually. I was going to say, I, I don't know why, I don't know why, either. but of course I know why. It's because of your ridiculous liberal agenda. And that's not a... I'm right-wing, therefore I'm against them, because I'm not even right-wing, I'm left-wing. I'm predominantly left-wing. The issue is that what you're suggesting is that uh, Islam is okay, which it isn't, that freedom of speech is not uh, a good thing because it might hurt your feelings, which is ridiculous, 
um, and that political correctness and uh, offence taking and so on and so forth, that the, the sort of calling cards of, of the social justice warriors are uh, important things that need um, to be forced upon other people and I'm not okay with that and nor should you be really but any you carry so this is the mosque where the Garland shooter attended he wants to have a protest right on the outskirts of it where they they draw Muhammad and all of that he doesn't want any threats and to make that clear he posted this on Facebook round two this will be a peaceful protest in front of the Islamic Community Center in Phoenix AZ now the middle I'm not too concerned with but he says at the end, people are also encouraged to utilize their Second Amendment right at this event, just in case our First Amendment comes under the much-anticipated attack. Yes, 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 indeed. You got a problem with that? You got a problem with people trying to protect themselves? Because they know that by peacefully protesting, they are likely to be met with physical resistance that could well result in their deaths entirely because they are opposing Islam. Now, the Second Amendment does allow the Americans to carry with them firearms to protect themselves. The First Amendment allows them to say whatever the fuck they want. What they are saying is these people we are protesting against will probably want to prevent us from being able to utilize our First Amendment rights. Therefore, we better damn well make sure we utilize our second to ensure that when they use force against us, we have some way to defend ourselves. This is an entirely reasonable position to take. <laughs> now, uh, the middle bit, which you neglected, to read because you said you weren't interested in it, reads, this is in response to the recent attack in Texas where two armed terrorists with ties to ISIS attempted jihad. Everyone is encouraged to bring American flags and any message you would like to send to the known acquaintances of the two gunmen. This Islamic community center is known as a place that the two terrorists frequented. You ignored that because what you're attempting to say, by ignoring that and like all the rest of it, is they're bringing guns, therefore they are evil. What I would like to say in response is, no, they're bringing guns because they are well aware that they may be met with violence that could result in their deaths, and they're trying to protect themselves and their freedom of speech. Something not only admirable, but entirely fucking reasonable. So he's saying, I don't want any threats, I just want to surround this mosque with a bunch of gun-toting militia members. I'm sorry, when did they say they were going to surround the mosque with gun-toting militia members? I don't think they said that. I think that you've just pulled that out of your ass because you're trying to demonize peaceful protesters who want to be able to protect themselves with guns that they can rightfully own. They are not militia members. They are not gun-toters. They happen to have guns, some of them. That's as far as that goes. And they are not surrounding the mosque. They are turning up nearby. I, I think that you may be a little prejudicial against these people. Something to think about. In case the much anticipated attack, which you anticipate but don't actually fear at all, in fact you're going to put as many people as possible on the outskirts of it armed with guns. No, the guns are there because they fear it. Do you, do you not understand how this works? They are saying it is entirely possible that we will be assaulted, that we will be attacked by people who will attempt to use deadly force to kill us. Therefore, we need to be prepared to be able to fight back if and when this occurs. It is entirely based on the idea that they ought to be scared because there is a possibility that they may die. It, it, uh, the, the, the literal idea behind this is we are currently afraid of a big bad thing that is trying to kill us. We must protest against the big bad thing that is trying to kill us. The big bad thing may then try and kill us, so we must be able to defend ourselves against the big bad thing. A very simple, logical way to look at it. 
And you have somehow completely glossed over that and gone straight for, yeah, well, they're all just psychopaths who want to murder all the Muslims. You fucking idiot. He, um, he's got a, uh, he's, he was wearing the, I uh, saw in the picture, the, the, the F Islam t-shirt, right? Oh, I did, I did not see that picture. Because he defends the t-shirt also. Uh, I love the sort of Rush Limbaugh music. Okay, first of all, the fuck does Rush Limbaugh have to do with this? He's not involved at all. He's not even relevant. He's just randomly inserting Rush Limbaugh into things. Is it because you don't like him? And because you also don't like these people? And so by randomly inserting other things you don't like, you can make some sort of specious link between the two things uh, in order to get people who hate the one thing to hate the other thing. Is it you being a propagandist against things you happen to personally dislike? By attempting to link two things you don't just you, you don't like at all together, even though they're not related in the slightest. I think it might be. Secondly, it's fuck Islam, not f Islam. Don't self-censor. That's just stupid. The fuck Islam T-shirt is entirely fine, in the same way that it would be okay if there was a T-shirt that said fuck everyone who isn't a Muslim, or fuck all the religions that aren't Islam, or whatever. Because it's freedom of fucking expression. To be able to make whatever fucking t-shirt you want. Who gives a fuck? It's a fucking t-shirt. Leave them be. Now, regardless of how irrelevant your insertion of Russell Limbaugh into this was, or your issue with a fucking t-shirt, I would have at least thought that you'd be pro-freedom of speech, seeing how it seems such a, such a reasonable thing. I've never met anyone in person who has said that they're not open, that they're not pro freedom of speech, and yet there seems to be so many people on the internet, on TV, and so on and so forth who who aren't for freedom of speech. It it just staggers me. It doesn't make any sense. Who isn't for freedom of speech? And I noticed it a few weeks ago. It seems to be people like yourselves. Who have a platform where they can say whatever the fuck they want, but they are not okay with other people having freedom of speech because they don't want to be talked back at. They want the platform, they want to be able to say, they want the pulpit, they want the, the um, what's it called, uh, uh, the, the kind of, um, Jesus, what's it called? The thing when you're, um, when you're like preaching and you have a, uh, I don't know, whatever the fuck it's called. The thing I'm th referring to. They have one of those. <laughs> they have a, a platform from which to spew whatever the fuck they want, but they don't want other people to be able to respond. They don't want other people to be able to talk to them. They don't want other people to, to be able to call them out. It's only this kind of person that seems to be opposed to freedom of speech. You are such a person. Isn't that interesting? I'm a re Marine and I'm far from politically correct. I'm yeah. outspoken and I've just had it. Like, you know, like, like somehow... Will you say something abhorrent, do something abhorrent, uh, and then you're like, you suggest that you're just being honest and outspoken, and that if people are aghast at your behavior, mm -hmm. it's further proof that you're taking a, a principled stand. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, sort of, yeah. I mean, first of all, what did they do that was abhorrent? As far as I can tell, what they did was draw a picture. That doesn't seem particularly abhorrent to me. But um, it, it, by saying all we did was express ourselves in a way that didn't actually do any damage to anything, didn't actually hurt anyone, didn't do anything wrong or immoral or illegal. And then people say, oh my god, I can't believe this has happened. We must put a stop to this. These people cannot be allowed to continue. Why don't we go and murder them? Then yes, it sort of does prove their point, doesn't it? If all they do is peacefully draw a picture, and they get people trying to murder them to prevent them from peacefully drawing a picture, it does kind of prove their point, which is that they need to draw these pictures in order to show that those people do want to kill them, and that their freedom to draw the pictures must be protected. It, it's such a simple thing. 
that I have no idea how you cannot get it into your head. How is it so difficult for you to understand? It's a very simple concept. Protect freedom of speech. People try to kill you, to silence you. Therefore, this proves that you need to protect freedom of speech. When people are trying to kill you for using your freedom of speech, it should indicate that what you really need to do is protect freedom of speech. I don't know how you can't understand this. I just don't. You know, um, which is what uh, uh, Reza Islam, Reza, Reza? Reza. Reza, Reza, Reza excuse me. Uh, uh, he pointed out, uh, I think correctly, this, this analogy doesn't always work, but if the armed bikers, which is who this group is, if these... Sure, armed bikers, peaceful protesters, it's, isn't it all the same stroke of genius? These armed bikers were going to protest outside a synagogue because they wanted to stand with uh, Palestinians in Gaza. I don't think we'd feel the same yeah. way. No, I, I dare say you wouldn't feel the same way because you hate Israel. Um, <laughs> you, you don't like Jews, as it happens. As such, you'd be well totally fine with them uh, protesting outside a synagogue. You, you'd hate for people to be protesting outside a mosque because, you know, got to protect those Muslims. Mm. The Jews were not in any way relevant to this. Why have you brought them up? Well, it's, it's one of the, the Young Turks talking points. They have to, at some point, hate on the Jews because, well, they, they hate Jews. But really, they weren't relevant. The only reason you say, well, we would act differently like this, is because you would act differently. And there is um, the potential for correctness here. In the, you're right that this scenario wouldn't take place outside of a synagogue. There wouldn't be people outside the synagogues that said, fuck Judaism, who were drawing pictures of, um, of Yahweh or whatever. And that's because the Jews, as a religion, would in no way say, go look outside, see a person with fuck Judaism on a t-shirt, see um, people with pictures of Yahweh on it, and go, oh my god, we've got to murder those guys. That's not the way that would happen. Because the, the Jews are not murdering people left, right, and center. Um, for not being Jewish or for, for mocking their leaders. This is a thing that only happens with Islam. You have needlessly brought up Israel now and Palestine, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. It wasn't relevant and you've now brought it up. Rush Limbaugh wasn't relevant and you've brought it up. Them having guns wasn't relevant and you've brought it up. I've got to say, you're truly the masters of not talking about what's actually relevant and just bringing up things you don't like. About armed bikers so, showing up outside of So that out. is, so there is the problem with a situation like that because there's, when I read a story like this, there's a part of me that was like, yeah, let's go draw cartoons outside of a mosque, right? There's a part mm -hmm. of me that wants to do that. <laughs> um, but at the same time, the problem is I wish it wasn't the minority religion in America that... And here we have the crux of the issue, the social justice warrior's biggest talking point. Islam is a minority religion in America. Therefore, you cannot criticize it. You cannot fight against it. You cannot call it out on its bullshit. You cannot oppose it. Because as everyone knows, you can't do anything that could potentially be deemed offensive to anyone who doesn't have um, institutional power. It's the same time and time again, doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter what the subject is, social justice warriors will always revert to their wibbly-wobbly power dynamics and will always say, well, well, this person is a victim, clearly. I mean, look at all that institutionalized power they don't have. 
Who gives a fuck? Who cares how many or how few there are? Well, actually, no, 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 you got the point. I do care how many there are, because I, I would be very pleased if it was zero. If there were no Muslims in America, in the UK, and so on and so forth, this would be a good thing. Does that mean I think we should get rid of them, or I think we should kill them? No, of course not. That's ridiculous. People should be allowed to practice whatever fucking religion they want, provided right? it doesn't break the law, right? It's not in some way immoral. But we could do with recognizing that this is an issue. And you can't recognize that something is an issue if that thing happens to have minority status in some way, because the social justice warriors will not let you. Because the Young Turks will say, no, we, I mean, we, we can't do this, we can't oppose Islam, who cares how immoral it is, who cares how many millions of people are dying every year because of it? Because it's a fucking minority in America. I do not give a fuck whether or not you are a minority. It matters not to me how many people believe the same thing you do in my vicinity. That is irrelevant, as far as I can tell. Just because something is in the minority doesn't mean that you should stop caring about it. Murder happens less than rape. Does that mean that we should stop caring about murder? No. Islam may not be a majority religion in America, but that doesn't mean we have to just sit down and fucking take it. That's not the way that works. I will oppose it regardless of how many or how few there are. You clearly do not understand how reality works. It's always constantly being kind of persecuted in America anyway, right? I wouldn't really say they're being persecuted. I've seen no evidence of Muslims being persecuted in the US. At all. I've seen Muslims get away with an awful lot of stuff for being Muslims. I've seen people like you, like you're currently doing now, defend them simply for being in some way a minority. I've seen them commit atrocities I've seen them commit ridiculous acts of barbarism and terror in the name of their religion. I've never seen them being persecuted. Strange that, isn't it? So Again, that's the, the problem. So I don't want to, you don't want to bash somebody who, you don't want to kick people who are powerless in yeah, America. Yeah, Did you say powerless? As in Muslims in America are powerless. L like... They, as a people, have no power in America. Are you aware that people who identify as Muslim in America have as much power as people who do not? And in fact, slightly more than people who uh, aren't religious because they get all the accommodations that comes with being a member of a religion. You can say all you like. They're powerless. They're a minority. They're so repressed. They're so oppressed. They need our help. But I'm still going to say, fuck off. That's not true. And I'm still going to say, we need to oppose it because it's immoral and wrong. And I'm still going to say, we need to defend our right to freedom of speech because it's our most fundamental and most important right. Your propaganda will not work on me. It's your same thing. You don't want to, it's not funny because they're powerless. Yes. yes. Right. That's, but and also, but at the same time, you have to stand up against groupthink and religion, and you can't let somebody tell you what you can and cannot draw. Which is exactly what they're doing. They're saying you cannot draw this. And these um, <laughs> armed bikers, as you call them, are saying, yeah, we can. We're going to draw it. All they're doing is standing up for their freedom to draw whatever the fuck they want. Whose fucking side are you on? Because so far what you've done is defend Islam and then say, but at the same time, we can't let them do exactly what they're doing. So please, 
come up with a fucking answer. Yes. Because if they tell you it's the Prophet Muhammad today, then tomorrow a Catholic tells you it's a picture of Virgin Mary, and then somebody, and you know, it can, it can go yeah. on forever. Okay, no, no, see, you misunderstand. That, that's not the way that works. The, the reason you can't let them tell you what's, what you can and cannot draw is not because someday uh, the Catholic Church may completely reverse all its positions on everything and decide, actually, you know what, we're going to be just like those Muslims and they're going to start doing that. That's not the reason. The reason is because it is immoral to tell someone else, you can't draw that. It is wrong to restrict someone's freedom of expression, and it is a fundamental right that you must defend. That is the reason. Not because someday Catholics might do it, someday Jews might do it, someday Buddhists might fucking do it. No. There are people doing it today. Those people are Muslims. They are the ones we are opposing. Those are the problem. Do not say, well, you know, this might get really out of hand if the Catholics join in. No, it's already fucking out of hand. Let us deal with this now. There is no progression. There's no way this can continue. There's no way this can expand and infect other religions. That's not the way that works. It's not let this first uh, battle be lost and then well, think of all the other ones we'll lose. It's if we lose this one, we've lost everything and everyone dies. I have no idea how you can be so fucking stupid. So you can't, religion should be kept inside, and the moment it comes out of your mouth, it's supposed to be ridiculed by comedians. It's our yes. job. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to ridicule groupthink, and you're supposed to stick your finger in the eye of authority and all that stuff. Mm. The only problem is Muslims are the minority here, and they're already persecuted like we saw when they wouldn't let them build a mosque near Ground Zero. Yeah. Um, okay, well, first of all, uh, the comedians are supposed to be able to make fun of whatever the fuck they want. That's freedom of expression. You can make anything funny, literally anything at all. The only jokes there have been about the Holocaust, that's not a funny thing at all. You can make it funny. You can make anything funny. Anything can be funny. It's up to a comedian to make it funny. Doesn't matter what the status of the thing you're making fun of is with, with regards to your wibbly-wobbly power dynamics. Those are irrelevant. Just make something funny. You are supposed to be a comedian. I haven't actually seen you do anything that's funny, but I, I'm aware that this is your chosen profession. Do not think that you have to play by this ridiculous progressive stack and your wibbly-wobbly power things, because that's not the way that works. It's not important. Now, as far as the, um, the persecution of them not being allowed to build a mosque on ground zero, I'm pretty sure that was just because the people didn't really want uh, a, a place of Muslim worship to be on the site of one of the most uh, atrocious acts of uh, Muslim terrorism in the history of the world. They didn't want uh, the victims of the greatest uh, terrorist attack perpetrated by Muslims in America's history uh, to be uh, commemorated with uh, a place of worship for these same people to go to. That's not persecution. That's uh, not wanting to have a fucking Nazi training camp uh, in the middle of Israel. I, gotta say, I, th I think I understand where they were coming from. Yeah. Okay, so, so but you don't, but the difference is you can draw uh, uh, cartoons of Muhammad uh, and you can continue to give it in the eye yeah. to Islam the same way you give it in the eye to right. all the other mainstream religions. You can't hold a menacing rally outside people's place of worship. Like, and there's a very clear difference in those yeah. things. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is there really? Now, I don't see what's particularly menacing about people existing, but um, which would call me crazy, but I don't seem to think that there's that much of a difference, to be fair, in uh, drawing a picture in one location to drawing a picture in another location. The proximity to a place of worship of the people you're protesting against doesn't seem to me, at least, to be that big of an issue concerning um, the, the, the morality uh, of an act. Uh, I, I mean, the thing itself 
is what we're talking about. What they're doing is protesting, what they're doing is drawing pictures. That thing doesn't become immoral when you start doing it nearby someone else's place of worship. That's just stupid. I see no reason why that would make a difference. Now, of course, you've attached this, this um, uh, descriptor to the acts, um, which weren't wrong before, but now you've, you've claimed they're wrong because they're menacing. And yet I've seen no justification of this. I've, I've seen no, no evidence that it's in any way actually menacing. I, I think you're just assigning that to these people so that you have something to complain about. I don't think you're right. Not at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would argue, like, he should be 100% legally allowed to do this. I would love if the mosque responds with absolutely no response whatsoever because it doesn't actually fucking affect you at the end of the day. They're just drawing something. He should be totally allowed to do that. But for those of you watching the video and supporting him, like, okay, maybe you genuinely care about the First Amendment and freedom of speech. I would argue that this man surrounding the mosque with bikers who are armed I don't think that the First Amendment is his principal concern. I think that getting the chance to shoot some Muslims is probably a little bit higher on his list of priorities than any of the amendments. This is... Wow, what a despicable and completely unjustified uh, indication that you believe that he is of murderous intent. There is no evidence of that whatsoever. You are simply assigning to this person with literally no reason to believe that this is the case the intent to murder people based on their religion. Did you not listen to what he said? Did you not read what he wrote? Did you not observe what was going on? What he has said is, we are defending the First Amendment. Then he said, also, we should probably utilize the Second Amendment in order to make sure that we can continue to defend the First Amendment against the potential attack that we may receive for attempting to stand up for our right to freedom of expression. At no point in that did he say, <laughs> I'm going to go shoot some Muslims. You fucking twat. You smug cunt. You are literally just assigning murderous sort of tendencies to people who have indicated no such thought. No such intention whatsoever. At no point did they say, we're going to go kill some Muslims. At no point did they indicate in the slightest that they were going to do that. You are just outright saying, with no evidence, this guy right here, I reckon all he wants to do is go shoot some Muslims. I mean, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm sure that's what he's going to do, isn't it? Isn't it? That's what he's going to do? Well, guess what? I, I, I think you're a pedophile. I think you're just going to, you know, as soon as the show's over, you're just going to walk out of the studio and go rape some kids. Do you see how stupid that is? It's fucking ridiculous, you re fucking retarded twat. It's a jackbag move. If you're with these people, you're on the wrong side. Mm, I, how? How are they wrong? How, how are they wrong at all? They're defending their right to freedom of expression by going to a place and drawing some pictures. Did they do anything wrong at all? Well, I mean, they've got guns on them. Yeah, to defend themselves against the possibility that they may be attacked, which is an entirely reasonable thing to assume, considering that, well, I've, I mean, almost all acts of terrorism are caused, perpetrated by Muslims in the name of Islam, and they have previously been attacked by members of this mosque for this exact thing they're doing. They know that they are likely to be attacked, and still they are going to defend their freedom of expression. They want to be able to defend themselves. Have they done anything wrong? No. No, they haven't. If anything, they are being not only entirely moral, but they are doing a moral good. You cannot say these people are in the wrong, because they are not. That's all there is to it. It's very clear. This is a... The kind of people who do this yeah, are the they... kind of guys who are looking for a fight. You... you have literally no evidence of that whatsoever. What you are saying is they're going looking for a fight, but you do not in any way know that. All you know is that they are willing to defend themselves and that they are trying to defend their First Amendment rights. That is all you know. 
They have said, we do not want any violence. This will be a peaceful protest. Make no threats. These are the words of the people you are currently defaming. You are currently saying they are looking to kill people for thinking differently to them. I think you may be attacking the wrong demographic. You yeah. want to you want to criticize Islam and the the violent wing of Islam in particular that is posing a threat to the United States and posing a threat overwhelmingly to Muslims. Yes. Overwhelmingly to Muslims. Um, not in America, mate. And not in the UK, not in Canada, not in the West. Sure, it, it's that, the, the segments of, uh, of Islam that are particularly villainous, particularly evil, particularly violent, uh, do indeed result in more uh, uh, Muslim casualties than anything else in Muslim countries where the vast majority of the population are Muslim. I don't see what your point is. Sure, in their own countries where there are almost entirely Muslim populations, the people they tend to kill there are Muslims. What do you fucking know? What are the fucking odds of that? I'll tell you about The fucking odds are one to one. That was inevitable. Does this mean, well, you know, they're not attacking people who aren't Muslims? No, of course it fucking doesn't mean that. What they are doing is killing everyone. The fact that in their home nations, where the majority of this takes place, thanks to the fact that we can defend ourselves against them, in our own nations, they are primarily killing their own people. Does this in any way detract from the fact that they're trying to kill us? No, of course it fucking doesn't. They're trying to kill us. This is the problem. They are trying to kill us. These people, these protesters, are protesting against them trying to kill us. And what you have to say is, what well, can we come on? They're mostly killing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb twat. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Middle East, then go ahead. That's different. But, you know, these guys are just people going to pray. We were, you, were you not there at the beginning? Do you not remember when they, they, say, they stated, a member of this mosque, the people you are claiming are just going there to pray, tried to kill these protesters, tried to murder them with guns. Were you not there? Did you not? Were you not paying attention during that bit? You just, no, you just, you're just a fucking moron, aren't you? When you hold an anti-Muslim rally outside a synagogue, you are the Westboro Baptist Church. You yeah. are on. You are doing what these people do. You are just inciting. Uh, you're inciting, and in this case, you're inciting at some risk to bodily harm. Love the Freudian slip there of you saying synagogue, but even so, regardless of that. Um, uh, I, I do not recall the Westboro Baptist Church, as much as I hate them, ever actually calling for violence, ever actually um, uh, as I said, calling for um, for death, for attacks, or anything like that. I don't recall them ever doing that. They may have done, I may just not have been uh, paying attention at that point, but I don't recall them ever doing that. I recall them peacefully protesting. I'm sure that they, they protest against things that uh, I don't happen to like, but then again, all you're doing here is attempting to link the Western Baptist Church, which you don't like, with people protesting against Islam. Again, you are only bringing up something you don't like that is irrelevant, so that you can link it with something else you don't like in order to create this sort of guilt by association fallacy. You are trying to say these people who I don't like are like these other people I don't like, with no evidence. These armed bikers, as you call them, are not inciting violence. They're not. They are, in fact, trying to prevent violence. They are trying to go against violence. They are saying there may be violent attacks against us. We hope this is not the case. If it is the case, we're going to defend ourselves. They are protesting the very fact that such attacks occur. You clearly do not understand, and I have no idea how you are this stupid. Yeah. Because we don't know how any of these guys are going to respond. I mean, if these, you know, if, if this, uh, the shooter in, in, in Texas was from this mosque, then maybe there are a couple of guys like him in the mosque, and Lord knows there are a couple of guys there who are going to attend this rally who are also uh, eager, eager for a fight.
You have literally no evidence of that. None whatsoever. We know that at least one person from this mosque was violent for no good reason towards these people. You have no way of knowing whether or not any of the people attending it are actually hoping for violence. That is a ridiculous assertion. Do not say they are. You do not know. It is defamatory. Were you in England, you would be able to be sued by them. As it happens, you're in America. Which is a shame. Because I would have had them sue you for defamation. Yeah. So people will make the point that, see, Islam's worse than Christianity. See, that, that's, that's what this is all about. That mm. their, uh, their religion is more violent than our religion. Yeah. Okay, no, that's not what this is about at all. Not only are the bikers not Christian, necessarily, I, someone who is a totally in favor of this, I'm not a Christian. I am an atheist anti-theist. I actively despise Christianity and would like to see it burn to the ground. I hate Christianity. This is not about which one is less violent than the other. They're both evil. This is about countering Islam. It has nothing to do with Christianity. Stop bringing up things you dislike as though that's a point. Well, you know what? I, I, I hate Nazis. See, this proves they're evil. It's not a fucking argument. Okay. There's a reason okay, that people consider Islam to be violent. More so than Christianity. And it would be that Islam is quite violent and significantly more so than Christianity. Now, I want you to do a little experiment. I want you to go into an airport in America. I want you to put on a large satchel on your back. I want you to walk around acting all shifty and nervous and looking behind your back. And I want you to run into a crowded area, hold your arms out wide and go, praise Jesus! And see how many people don't give a fuck or Laugh, giggle, be amused by the situation. And they want you to do exactly the same thing. Like this time you scream, Alvar Akbar. And see how quickly you get shot. Why do you think people would react differently to those two things? Well, they're both praising their God, acting in a suspicious manner in an airport with a large sack on their back. What could the difference between those two things be? In case you're wondering, I suggest you go and look at all the recent acts of terrorism that have occurred in what, I don't know, the past 20 years or so. Just look at who's been responsible for them. That might give you some indicator as to why there would be a, a different reaction between those two events. Even though we've been bombing Iraq since for four straight presidencies, and I don't think Iraq has bombed us once yet. What on earth does Iraq have to do with this? I know you dislike the Iraq war, but... Why are you bringing it up? Because it's not fucking relevant. Yeah, right? So right we've been occupying two Muslim countries since the early 2000s, and I don't think one Muslim country has even occupied Wisconsin yet. <laughs> That's completely irrelevant. Who cares? I know you hate the US and you're against America. I don't see why you're bringing it up because it's not fucking relevant. All they are doing is protesting against Islam and fighting for their right to freedom of expression. That is all they have done. Nothing more, nothing less. Stop making this bigger than it is. Stop calling it out when there's nothing to call out. Just stop. So, so it's, it's when you only see terrorism or, you know, that, the religious violence and you don't think the violence of the United States even though it's perpetrated by a guy named George Bush, who said he got his walking orders from the Heavenly Father when he invaded Iraq. You don't, oh, that's not, that's not religious violence. I hated George Bush and the other George Bush. I don't particularly care for the Iraq war. 
But it is not a religious war. No matter what you may think. Because when George Bush says, you know, that uh, he got his marching orders from the Heavenly Father, that uh, he was on a mission from God, what he was actually saying was, the US has decided to go to war. Because that was the truth of the matter. The fact that he was a Christian, he thinks that uh, whatever he was doing was uh, inspired by God, was uh, you know, uh, because of God, was an order from God, because he knows that uh, a large portion of the uh, uh, United States of America is Christian, and that uh, they'd have liked him to say that it was a, he was on a mission from God, and so on and so forth. These things do not actually make it a religious war. This is not a, an act of terrorism perpetrated against uh, another person, another place, uh, in the name of religion, like Muslim terrorism is. This is an act of war, actually in right retaliation from an act of terrorism, although admittedly um, not the best way to retaliate, I would have said. Um, it's not terrorism. The invasion of Iraq is not terrorism, that's war. There is a difference. And it's not religiously motivated. Sure, it had a religious guy at the helm of it, but he wasn't doing it because of religion. He was doing it and also happened to be religious, which isn't quite the same. Yeah. And that's, we can dismiss that violence because that's done with planes and, and nice weapons that are made in factories as opposed to terrorism, which we're afraid of. I've said it before. Terrorism is the violence of the weak, and we condemn it. War is the violence of the strong, and we glorify it. Uh. It's a nice little quip there, but it's also untrue. We're not automatically in favor of war, nor are we automatically against terrorism. Terrorism is not necessarily... Uh, perpetrated by uh, weak people, nor against strong people, nor is it, uh, nor is war necessarily perpetrated by strong people, nor even against weak people. War is when two countries engage in some sort of violent struggle against one another for political reasons. Terrorism is when people attempt to create terror, usually through violent means. Those are two very different things. To attempt to instill terror in another nation by murdering its citizens, by blowing things up. This is terrorism. We do condemn that, because it's wrong. War is not necessarily wrong. And yes, we can glorify it in some ways. In some ways we do. Not necessarily wrong to glorify it, but whatever. The issue is you're attempting to equate religious terrorism by Muslims with non-religious war, uh, therefore saying, well, you know, this thing will be bad, but we better not criticize it because, let's face it, other things are also happening and we can criticize them instead, which is moronic. You should condemn terrorism, and you should condemn war if you're against it. Which would appear you are. You can condemn both. And as it happens, I do condemn both. But don't try and say, this one doesn't count anymore, because this thing exists. That's not the way that works. That is a ridiculous argument. I just hope that the same tactics taken by the police and those in charge here <laughs> that relegates uh, protesters at the Republican and Democratic conventions to a tiny little area, free hundreds and zone. hundreds of yards away in a free speech zone, because here, in this case, there's a real reason for it. Yeah. Like, I got it. Now let's move these guys 400 yards away, keep them in a free speech zone. Keep them away from that mosque, keep them away from the people in the mosque, keep the people in the mosque away from them, because the most important thing is get through that day without anybody shooting anybody. It's a shame that you think that. It's a shame that you think that free speech needs to be located in a specific area away from Muslims in order to prevent offence, in order to prevent the possibility of, of retaliation. The entire point of this rally is to say, 
we deserve to be able to say whatever we want and not have any negative repercussions for our words, which are, of course, at the end of the day, only words. For our pictures, which are, at the end of the day, of course, only pictures. When you say, this may get violent, let's try and stop that by curtailing people's freedom. What I say is you have completely misunderstood what they're saying. The thing they are fighting against is the curtailing of freedom. They are fighting for their right to express themselves. They are fighting for their ability to be free. And you are saying, well, I mean, we can't side with the people wanting freedom. I mean, that's, that's just ridiculous. We've got to side with the people who might kill them for wanting freedom. We've got to stop all that freedom they want. That way, the people who want to kill them don't get hurt. I was, uh, quite a while ago, a subscriber to the Young Turks. And I, I did watch them and I, I, for the most part, thought they were okay. Occasionally they'd say something stupid and I'd go, yeah, okay, well that wasn't, that wasn't great. But I, I kept at it for a while. And then it wasn't until um, I think the, the Fukushima incident, uh, the, the nuclear plant, that I, I, I unsubscribed. And the reason was because what they'd said was so factually inaccurate and so ridiculous that there was no way I could justify it in my mind. And it astonishes me that the people involved in the Young Turks can justify it in their own mind. Their propagandizing, their proselytizing, their insane rambling, their utter drivel that they call journalism. I am pro free speech. I am anti Islam. And I am anti the Young Turks. In particular, I'm anti-Chenk, which is why I was uh, I'm quite annoyed Chenk wasn't in this one. But, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, fuck off everyone, and of course, good luck. <laughs>